welcome once again to our discussion on qualitative response model right we were discussing about qualitative response model and in our last uh, few previous sessions we are discussing about the logit and probit models and in those models the dependent variable what we assumed as binary that means the dependent variable takes only two values 0 or 1 because we were assuming dependent variable to be dichotomous in nature. For example, we were un trying to understand what are the factors that determine whether the individual will uh, have their own house or not. So, that means there are only two choices in front of the individuals either to own a house or not to own a house. Also, when individuals are selecting about transport choice, then there are two choices either to use public transport or to use a private one, right? whether to go for an MBA or not. So, in those, in all these cases, in all these cases, the dependent variable is dichotomous in nature. That means, there are two options available. But in reality, many a times the individuals, they face a problem where they have multiple choice. That means, the dependent variable becomes polychotomous in nature. And in those cases, we need to develop a different type of model, not the simple logit and probit model to understand those situations better. So, if the econometric model that deals with the cases wherein the dependent variable takes more than two values or individuals they face more than two options are called multinomial regression model. So, today we are going to discuss about multinomial So, this is multinomial regression model. So, our model y i equals to alpha plus beta x i plus e y, where y i is basically polychotomous variable. Variable. For example, let us say that a student immediately after getting his or her plus 2 degree is deciding about whether to go for a college okay, of 2 years, whether to go for a 4 years or whether to whether not to go for college degree at all. right? So, here for example, uh, an individual an individual facing a choice of of first of all no college this is choice number 1 no college then choice number 2 is 2 years college And number three, let us say this is four years college. So, this yi, let us say yi equals to yi equals to one when there is no college, then yi equals to two for two years college, and yi equals to three for. Four years college. So, in this case, 
the dependent variable becomes a polychotomous variable. It takes three values 1, 2, 3 depending on which particular choice the individual makes. Now, this multinomial regression model are of two types. Multinomial regression model are of two types. What are those? Two types. Number one, A. A is nominal. This is let us say M R M. M R M multinomial regression model. Then M R M is again this again categorized as nominal. M R M where choices are are not ordered. That means here we are not attaching any value judgment over these choices. We are not saying that two years college is better than no college or four years college is better than two years college. So, we are not saying that 2 is better than 1 and 3 is better than 2. This type of value judgment we are not attaching here. If we do not attach any value judgment, if we do not order the choices, then that is called nominal multinomial regression model. But if we say, no, this 2 years college, at least 2 years college is better than no college at all and 4 years college is better than 2 years college, if we order these choices in this way, then it would be called ordinal ordinal MRM, where choices are ordered. Right? Choices are ordered. Here we are going to first talk about this case nominal multinomial regression model and again this nominal multinomial regression model the, let us say that this is nominal nominal MRM multinomial regression model that is again of different types. Firstly, Firstly, the first type of nominal multinomial regression model is called multinomial multinomial, let us say, logit or probit model. Multinomial logit or probit model. Now, in this case, what is this multinomial logit or probit model? Here, basically, when we say that the individuals are facing these three choices, no college, two years college and four years college, let us assume that we want to understand how the chooser specific data, chooser specific data can actually determine these choices. What are chooser specific data? That means, I am not attaching any attribute for these choices, rather I want to understand how the individual specific data, individual's age, individual's family income, individual's family size, individual's average grade up to 12th standard, all this data can determine these choices to be made. So, if that is the situation, that is called multinomial logit or probit model. So, this is basically chooser specific data, chooser specific data. Chooser specific data. So, that means individuals. individuals age family income
फैमिली साइज एवरेज लेट से एवरेज ग्रेड अप टू प्लस टू वेदर द इंडिविजुअल इज इट इज सी डिटर्मिन determine the choices so this is called multinomial logit or probit model right now second type of nominal multinomial regression model is called conditional 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 logit or probit model what is this conditional logit or probit model here this is called choice specific data for example let's say you are traveling from destination from place a to b and there are three alternative ways you can travel by bus you can travel by train and you can also travel by flight by air so i am trying to understand the factors that determine whether an individual will take bus train or air mode of transport while traveling from a to b and i have choice specific data that means what are the choice specific data travel time let's say travel time waiting time waiting time then fare then comfortness these are all not these are not the individual specific data rather these are choice specific data if i take bus then i have a specific travel time required from to reach b from a i have certain amount of waiting time at the bus stop to get the bus and to board it i have also specific amount of fare that i have to incur while traveling from a to b so you can understand while the travel time in bus is much more there would be less waiting time in the bus stop right but if you take a flight from traveling from a to b travel time is very less but there is a huge uh, waiting time in the airport that means before taking the flight you have to reach the airport at least 2 hours before that and then you have so many security processes one and so forth so actually it takes around 3 and half to 4 hours before you actually board the flight and fare is also very high compared to bus but the level of comfort the level of comfort is very high compared to bus or even train also so these are called choice specific data that will determine whether the individual will take bus train and fly or flight while traveling from a to b and if we combine these two then we will have a mixed logit or probit model that means choosers and choice specific data if you have choosers and choice specific data 
to determine that means in this particular case i will consider travel time waiting time fare comfort as well as individuals education individuals average income whether the individual is male or female individuals age so on and so forth to determine whether the individual will take bus train or air mode of transport while traveling from a to b so you must understand and differentiate all these cases so that you can actually apply appropriate econometric model in this situation wherein your dependent variable is polychotomous in nature so we should not always apply the multinomial logit or profit model which is the most popular models in the literature many a times the students the applied researchers they fail to understand the difference between multinomial conditional and mixed kind of logit and profit model so irrespective of whether it is a choice specific or choice specific data they simply apply the multinomial logit model so as a researcher we need to understand what is our data structure how we are going to explain the variation in dependent variable and based on the situation we will apply these type of models so this is basically the difference between multinomial conditional and mixed logit so for today's discussion we will be taking first the chooser specific data or multinomial logit model for today's discussion this is multinomial logit or chooser specific data okay so the example what we are taking as we discussed earlier that this is a uh, choice of college so that means we are saying that yi actually is polychotomous in nature no college after plus 2 2 years college and this is sorry 4 years college right so the choices uh, instead of y i let us say we denote this dependent variable as y i j where i is indexed for here i is indexed for individual and j is indexed for choice so j equals to j equals to 1 2 and 3 we have three choices here no college two years college four years college right so yij basically indicates then yij indicates ith individual sorry ith individual ith individual makes the jth choice okay ith individual makes the jth choice and pi i j equals to the probability that y i j equals to 1 okay so pi i j that means basically indicates probability probability 
that ith individual makes jth choice okay pi i j equals to probability that y i j equals to 1 so that means we will have pi i 1 pi i 2 and pi i 3 indicate probability for first second and third choice respectively okay respectively and we we know that since these choices are not mutually exclusive what we can say that pi i 1 plus pi i 2 plus pi i 3 equals to actually 1 sum of these three probabilities equals to 1 right sum of this equals to 1 okay so what we will do in the logit model what we observe in case of simple logit model so this is simple logit model what we assume that pi equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus alpha plus beta xi right now if you multiply both numerator and denominator by e to the power alpha plus beta xi then that will become e to the power alpha plus beta xi divided by 1 by 1 plus e to the power alpha plus beta xi that is what we get okay that is how we model simple logit model that means when the dependent variable was dichotomous in nature now if we extend this simple multinomial logit and make is a more generalized case when the individuals are facing more than two choices then the multinomial logit model or mlm multinomial logit model this would become e to the power alpha j plus beta j xi divided by summation e to the power alpha j plus beta j xi where j runs from 1 to 3 you have three choices okay this is the generalized logit model which we call multinomial logit model now one striking feature of this multinomial logit model if you look at closely we have attached we have attached uh, j subscript for the intercept alpha and the slope coefficient beta why this is so that is something we need to understand so j subscript is attached with the intercept alpha and the 
slope coefficient beta why this is so because in this model if you look at in simple logit model there is no j over here here it is only alpha plus beta xi what does it mean that means while facing this type of choices whether to go for no college two years college or four years college the same individual i is attaching differential weight to the explanatory variable for example let's say i have only one explanatory variable here uh, income so that means the 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 coefficient the ith individual the weight attached to that particular coefficient income by the ith individual who is let's say not going for college at all is different from is different from the other individual who is actually going for a four years college i will repeat again here differential this this beta which we can if we assume that betas are basically the weight attached to the uh, explanatory variable then the individuals are attaching individuals are attaching differential weight to different explanatory variables so that so that while no college becomes more probable for ith individual a two years college a two years college becomes more probable for another individual why this is so because ultimately each and every individual will derive some amount of utility by choosing no college two years college and four years college okay so a particular individual will choose no college if choosing no college gives more utility than two years or four years college while for the other individual choosing two years college will give more utility compared to no college or four years college how these individuals are deriving different utility because given the role of these betas they are attaching differential weight to the explanatory variable okay so when a particular individual is deciding no college two years college or four years college let's say i have the only one explanatory variable income right only one expanded variable income while considering two years college i will give a different weight to the income while considering zero college uh, no college at all i will put a different uh, weightage while choosing four years college i will give another type of weight to the explanatory variable income so my intercept and my uh, uh, slope is actually varies from one choice to another okay one choice to another that is why one choice becomes more probable compared to others right that is the reason here here uh, uh, the individuals they are attaching differential weight for different choices to make and that is why choice specific weightage is attached which particular choice i will make and that depends on x i that means here if we assume x is a vector then i have more than uh, one explanatory variables in the model so that is the reason we attach uh, differential impact differential uh, weight to the explanatory variable 
but earlier in this case the impact is same the same weight is attached for all the individuals for all the individuals they are choosing same alpha and same beta okay so since uh, uh to to since uh, that means uh, for uh, the if we if we extend this multinomial logic model for pi that means i can write this is let's say pi i j pi i j instead of pi i am writing pi i j equals to e to the power alpha j plus beta j x i divided by this okay so since pi i j pi i 1 plus pi i 2 plus pi i 3 equals to 1 we cannot actually estimate all these three probabilities separately because if we estimate pi i 1 and pi i 2 pi i 3 will automatically be estimated by 1 minus this that is the reason we will select one category as our base category for example let's say no college is a base category okay since we cannot we cannot estimate pi i 1 pi i 2 and pi i 3 individually as pi i 1 plus pi i 2 plus pi i 3 equals to 1 okay once two probabilities are estimated the third one will be automatically estimated So, what we assume? We assume one category, we assume one category as base and put intercept intercept and slope equals to 0 for that category so let us assume let's assume let's assume that first category is the base. So, alpha j equals to beta, sorry, not alpha j. Let us assume that alpha 1 equals to beta 1 equals to 0 okay let us assume that so in that case pi i 1 pi i 1 equals to 1 by 1 plus e to the power alpha 2 plus beta 2 x i 
plus e to the power alpha 3 plus beta 3 xi sorry this is xi similarly pi i 2 would be equals to e to the power alpha 2 plus beta 2 xi divided by 1 plus e to the power alpha 2 plus beta 2 xi plus e to the power alpha 3 plus beta 3 xi pi i 3 would be e to the power sorry e to the power alpha 3 plus beta 3 xi divided by 1 plus e to the power alpha 2 plus beta 2 xi plus e to the power alpha 3 plus beta 3 xi okay and then what we will do we will calculate this pi i 2 by let us say pi i 1 equals to what will happen pi i 2 divided by this so we will get e to the power alpha 2 plus beta 2 x i okay and this implies if we take log of both side log of pi i 2 divided by pi i 1 equals to alpha plus alpha 2 plus beta 2 x i similarly pi i 3 divided by pi i 1 equals to e to the power alpha 3 plus beta 3 x i equals to log of that implies log of pi i 3 divided by pi i 1 equals to alpha 3 plus beta 3 x i let us say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 okay now if we look at equation 1 and 2 then it appears exactly like the simple logit model wherein we were estimating log of pi divided by 1 minus pi equals to alpha plus beta xi so this is the model in simple this is the simple logit model what we are discussing where pi by 1 minus pi is basically the odds ratio odds in favor of happening that event okay so that means this is basically the relative probability of success pi by 1 minus pi if we assume pi is the probability of success then pi by 1 minus pi is a relative probability of success and that we have estimated using the simple bivariate model now here in the context of multinomial logic also ultimately the kind of model what we derive is basically the bivariate because pi i 2 by pi i 1 is the relative probability of second choice over the first one that means in this example we can think of this is basically we are estimating a relative probability of a two years college over no college and equation 2 tells us relative probability of a four years college over no college and that depends on the uh, explanatory variable xi so if we derive this type of bivariate model so that means if the multinomial logit if if the multinomial multinomial logit reduces to 
reduces to a situation of bivariate choice model why not estimating estimating equation 1 and 2 individually one and two individually and independently in a applying simple logic model That is the question.